This is the consequence of eight years of war. A war in which the people over there in Downing Street supported and collaborated in. It's a war which exemplifies beyond any doubt the extent of British double standards and hypocrisy when it comes to our foreign policy. As we've heard already, the UK has supported the abhorrent Saudi regime throughout the last eight years. And don't forget, this is a regime with a brutal human rights record, a regime which beheads its own citizens, a regime where half of its citizens are denied basic rights. And yet the UK government is happy to supply them with weapons and logistical support for the bombardment of one of the poorest countries in the world. The UK government has supported and participated in this war, a war where the rules of warfare have been completely ignored, in which civilians have been repeatedly targeted, in which hospitals and schools and other civilian infrastructure has been repeatedly bombed. Oxfam reported earlier this year that in 2021 to 2, 19 hospitals were bombed in, by Saudis with our weapons. That's in just one year, 19 hospitals. And throughout this, our government has been collaborating. And more than that, we've provided international cover for a regime which should clearly be a pariah. And this hypocrisy extends beyond the government, it extends to the British media, where we have seen blanket coverage of the war going on in Ukraine, but there's barely been a mention over the last eight years of what's been happening in Yemen. Such hypocrisy should put to bed any thoughts that our support for Ukraine is based on concern for its population, is based on concern for international law, is based on concern for democratic rights. We rightly condemn Russia for its bombardment of Ukraine. We rightly condemn Putin's actions there. And yet the Saudis remain our friends. And now Yemen is entering a new phase in this war, a shaky peace deal. But the hypocrisy continues. We're happy to fund the weapons of war, but are less happy to fund the humanitarian aid needed to secure the peace. On Friday, UNICEF reported a huge funding gap in its humanitarian assistance program in Yemen. Last year, it was only able to raise a quarter of its targeted amount that it needs. And it's only asking for 3.5 billion pounds. To put that in context, the British government alone gave 2.3 billion in military assistance to Ukraine last year and has promised to match that in this coming year. We're going to be giving five billion pounds worth of weapons to Ukraine. And that's in addition to the 11 billion increase in our arms budget that was announced just a few weeks ago. Our government fails when it comes to aid and it fails when it comes to providing a safe haven for refugees fleeing from the wars that it perpetrates. I'd like to end just by saying this and the vigil on the eighth anniversary of the Yemen war. We must never forget. We must never let our government's role in these bar bar barbaric crimes be forgotten or forgiven. Instead, we must expose our government's culpability and expose its hypocrisy. And we at Stop the War will continue our campaigns to prevent our vicious and hypocritical government from fueling yet another foreign war. Thank you.